Just for a second. Hold on. One of you guys get up. Come sit down for a second. Oh, yeah. Let's get over. Okay. Change places. What is happening? <laughs> you're going to sit here and you're going to tell me about your event. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Because they gave me a table and, and I have nothing to, I have. I don't sell anything. So that's why when, I, when people are walking by and I can talk to them, I'm just like, sit down for a second. So it's like a is roving it, table. It's, it's being like recorded? Yeah. It's, just, yeah, it's not streamed. It's just recorded. Well, don't well, worry. Well, if it sucks, I'll cut it out. Oh, but okay. This is Jeff. This yeah, is the man. Who uh, is creating <laughs> currently hidden by the? <laughs> yeah, exactly the uh, robotic rodeo, and in fact, we can keep it like this the whole time. We, that's fine. Well, no, no, that's a shame. Look no, at, flip it over. This it's, it's prettier on the other side. Yeah, yeah. You get up. You come uh, over right? here and tell us about it. No, no. Actually, we can fit both of you guys in. Yeah, let's free. do that. So yeah, look at that. Look at that. Is it professional to have the coffee in the shot or not? Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> professional. <laughs> This is going on the internet. Oh, well, well, then all bets are off, yeah. Yeah, so look at that. Live performance by Wakefire. Yep. Wait, are, are you Wakefire? No, 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 no. Oh, this is very confusing promotion. Hey, isn't it, though? Is the cow Wakefire? No. No, who is Wakefire? Wakefire is an amazing band out of Detroit, um, and actually their their first appearance in North Carolina is going to be at this event. They are also Ooh, coming nice. to the Festival of Legends. Uh, uh, very cool, which he also like, runs. Which oh, I yeah, also that's run. The over there. Yes, I know, I know, but it's more interesting to look at you than the camera. You're not wrong. You emote more than the camera does, and nothing else. So. Look, don't. But he's trying, well, okay? I know, but he's just sitting there with the, the fanning out. And, uh, that's true. Yeah, that's so, true. I mean, it's yeah. Anyway, no, Wakefire, uh, they're an amazing band. Um, they've got uh, several albums. Albums out, they got some amazing songs, uh, like some serious, like uh, rock, folk, Celtic type stuff. I'm really nice. No, they are, they are amazing. Uh, shoot, the, the two songs, the Sailor and the Siren, is one, and the other one is that are like their like big sellers right now. Their big uh, single releases. I'm blanking on the other one right now, but they're amazing. I feel like the other ones just escaped my heaven. They're an awesome band. Yeah, they're coming down from uh, Detroit. They're going to be headlining uh, the music for okay. Robotic Radio. Yep. Yes, and I'm offering. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You are wearing the. Is it the same one? Yes. Yeah. Well, that is an awesome corset, by the way. It was very, I like the uh, the designs on there. See, it's less pervy if I stare at this one. But yeah. Yeah. But, uh, the only thing that's different <laughs> is the shirt. <laughs> yeah, well, oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fair. That's right. Yeah, that one's got more sleeves. The one yes. that you got on right now. Mm -hmm. But no, no, that is really cool. I like it. And you're, you're, are you kind of yes. the mascot for the? Uh, uh, I was part of the promotional uh, photo shoot done by uh, Paul Corey. Oh, Paul Corey, yes, friend of friend of all of ours. Yep. He's oh, a yeah. fantastic uh, uh, photographer. Yep. And he's he's uh, already been hired to shoot the event. So uh, we're right, cool. So we'll be there taking all the photos for it. Yeah. So we did a fantastic photo shoot in downtown Durham uh, a couple of months ago. And yeah. Uh, yep, and those those pictures of it. Yeah, it's in Durham, right? Bull City, Bull City Robotic Radio. Not just a clever name. Mm -hmm. I like it. And uh, it's uh, for in case you couldn't read it because it's been moving around a lot. It is the all new. So this is the very first one. Very first one. It is our wow. first rodeo, as a matter of fact. <laughs> <laughs> it is our first rodeo. Uh, and then the best part is, is then every other one after that, not your first rodeo, which will be the theme of year two. Yeah, it's it's like a, a very low number of rodeos. <laughs> <laughs> It does, but well, there's a lot that goes into it, you know. So you, you you learn quickly, or you know, die. So and so the third one's gonna be grabbing the bull by the horns. You know where uh, maybe the, the fourth one will be the legend of Curly's gold. Uh, oh, there you go. <laughs> well, yeah. we, we uh, because we have ferrets as pets at home, so we joked around that's going to be a fistful of ferrets. Oh yes. A fistful of dollars. Well, it was, <laughs> I like it. Or or we could keep playing with the bull theme, so it could be like a fistful of bull. Oh, oh, a few bulls like a, more, and then the good, the bad, and the bull. You know, I like that. I like the ferret idea, yeah. <laughs> and it's going to be good because it's a good cross promotion with the furries and stuff like that. Because they'll come out and yeah. stuff like that. That's a good point. Um, yeah. So there, there, there are different ways to go with that. It's in February. That would be a good month. For it would yeah, be. you're not wrong. Look, my son is a furry, and he's got the suit oh, and everything he, like oh, yeah. that, and he's just like. Uh, he was out at um, at uh, 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 an amazement, and he was out there in costume for approximately five minutes before he started complaining about how hot it was. Yeah, oh, yeah. right. Well, and that was actually part of the reason uh, February was chosen, is we sat down and had a conversation about when would be a good time to have a steampunk event. Steampunk costuming is usually very hot. Mm -hmm. and let's have this in the winter. I, as much as I loved Contemporal. Right. It was a Great fun event. event and everything like that. But they were in, what, June, July? Yeah. In the south yeah. here in North Carolina yeah. with steampunkers. Yeah. Put the steam in steampunk. Yeah, that was super hot. So yes. well done. Good thinking Thank you. Thank for you February. So and in fact, um, 
Uh, of course, Boomstick Burlesque is going to be there, they providing are. work can can. Yes. Yeah. So they, yeah, they've got two different yeah. shows they're going to be doing. So so Friday night is part of opening ceremonies. Uh, we've got uh, they're going to start off by doing a, a traditional can-can. Uh, following that is going to be a short set by Wake Fire. And then, uh, for those of you who know DJ Spider, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. she is going to be doing our, uh, our you know, rest of the evening party from that point on. Cool. And then Wake Fire is doing a full show Saturday night. Um, and then also we're having the... Uh, um, uh, Boomstick is going to be doing the burlesque show on Saturday night as well. So yep. What's going on? Yep. And uh, in addition to all of the other amazing things that are happening at Radio. Like a mechanical bull, square dancing, yep. uh, bull whip, uh, workshop. Yep. Escape room. We have an escape room set up. Oh, dude. Yep. We have an escape room set up. Uh, and then an actual paddle caller uh, called the auctions with the silent auction. <laughs> So, so he's not yes. an actual cattle caller. No, I thought he was. He was. There was a, there was a slight change of plans, but I got somebody even better. Uh, I got one of the official Dragon Con auction callers, Edward mm-hmm. Beach. So he's coming down. So no, he's not a, a cattle caller. It's similar style. Uh, he actually, he, I, in talking to him on the phone, he actually gave you a very long like discussion about like these specific differences. And it did these very minute things with the cadence and the pronunciation. And I'm like, it's fine. Pe- people aren't going to know the difference here. You're awesome. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, and Everett's that. fantastic. Um, yes. He's somebody that I, I love working with when it comes to an auction. Now, uh, he's really good on the stick, but a lot of times he'll just be like, "Look, you have more fun with it." So he'll he'll let, have me do the stick, and then he handles all the uh, complex stuff, the actual oh, okay. mechanics behind it. But he's able to do both, and I, I can only talk. So he, he's a way better fit. So. <laughs> I can only talk. Yeah, well, I got since we're on the auction, I got I got to plug the auction for a minute. No, no please. So, uh, um, all the proceeds raised from it are going to go and benefit the North Carolina Coalition Against Domestic Violence. And we're going to have a couple of their representatives actually at the convention uh, doing various panels on everything from uh, the role of women in the modern day to the, the roles of women in you know uh, media and fiction and things like that. Um, and, and being there in your person open to discussing things about you know, domestic violence and things like that. But yeah, so um, we have... 12, I think, items up for auction. All of them are donated by our amazing vendors at the event. We have wonderful pieces of jewelry, some costuming, uh, and I've also, uh, because it's such a great cause, I am putting up uh, a special VIP package for Festival of Legends uh, that will be auctioned off. So it'll be a VIP package with a total of four shirts uh, and four um, passes for the weekend. And if you haven't seen our shirts yet for this year for Festival of Legends, they are amazing. Yeah. Um, it's, oh my God, they're, so there's a shirt that we had a few years ago that was super popular. Um, and it, the material, everybody said it was the most comfy, comfy material they've ever had. It was the, the black shirt with the gold phoenix. Okay. And everybody's, you know, they, they, people love the logo. But they're like, like, these are like the most, com- this is the most comfy shirt I own. So I made specific, I got the, that exact same material, the same company. And they're, it's, it's that same shirt. Um, with an amazing design this year. Very so, cool. Yeah, that's all on there. Um, yeah, Sarah Van Castle, Hot Food Cosplay, yep. is the one that did our uh, okay. logo design, and she designed the Franklin Park. Yes, yes. Okay. So she did her banner and our poster for this year, the full poster and all that. So, yeah, but we so many amazing things to you guys. So the escape room. Did I mention laser tag? Uh, we're doing a high noon laser tag shootout. Um, I know you said the square dancing. Uh, Weird West Film Festival. Oh, Weird West Film Festival. Yeah. Yes. Lots of very cool things going on and whatnot. Panel discussions. Um, <laughs> and some panel discussions too. Yeah. yeah. Well, it, it's uh, before we talk about Festival of Legends, you also mentioned that uh, the domestic, some folks from the domestic shows are going to be coming out and uh, and discussing some of the like women in, in, in media and stuff. I think that's important because that is yes. something that a lot of people um, bring up as something problematic about steampunk because it's it. Some people will say it's glorifying a time while ignoring a lot of the issues with people of color or women and. Right. Uh, and those things were very uh, class-based and stuff. Yeah, and so oh, yeah. I think that that was a really smart idea with being able to talk about those things. Because, you know, the, the, the robotics rodeo, of course, is not your standard steampunk stuff. It's not Victorian era, nope. specifically Wild West era. Yep, America. And, and it wasn't like those folks had it much better at that point in time. No, but the... No, but the Old West was more diverse than we like right. think it was. No, Very many, true. Uh, good many uh, cow- what we think of as cowboys yeah. were Latino or black. Or black but most had, of them were uh, hmm. uh, status. A lot of women had status. Women made the Old West what it was. Yes. Um, because they, for, uh, towns for, uh, were created around them. They had uh, 
they opened schools and stores. And, yep. Uh, with, I think it was Wyoming, when they became a state, they actually refused yep. to be part of the union unless the women, uh, their women retained the vote. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, oh, wow. Yeah, that was part of the other part of the integration of uh, yeah. Yeah, Wyoming into, into the union, but it was the integration of the country. Yeah. yeah, so that's fantastic. If you look at the real history and not history that was based off of uh, a Wild West circus show, <laughs> which is for um, Louis yeah. L'Amour books, yeah. or, right? Which is where uh, a lot of that comes you from. You actually from, find yeah. a lot more diversity in the real history, not to say that they're not Oh, sure. Right. But we also, uh, steampunk is Victorian sci fi. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And you know, now we're in this Americana sci fi. So you can have the aesthetic and the ideals and bring that into the modern day and make a West as you wanted it to be. Mm. Yeah. Well, also, steampunk isn't real, so you can do whatever the hell you want to with it. Yeah, absolutely. Too. And, and, and <laughs> yeah, making it a better past tomorrow. Well, and you know, and it's and, and speaking of all this, you know, I'm really very, very glad you brought me out. Thank you. Uh, and I'm super glad you actually brought up these points too, because I, I find that some of the best steampunk, you know, liter- I'm just gonna say literature, and I'm talking about movies, comic books, books, the whole, the whole, the whole gamut of it. Some of the best of it centers around the idea of flaunting those norms and taking and making the people who would have been, you know, the considered the lowest, the disenfranchised, and all that, you know, giving them a chance to rebel against, you know, these very kind of staid. Hmm concepts that we had at the time, you know, and again, it's fiction, it's not the reality of the time period necessarily, but the literature today oftentimes represents that, you know, desire to break free from that and to, to fight against it. Um, and I also think it's a, a great time to drop part of my, um, you know, the mission statement of Glitter Free Production, which is the company that you know, puts on both the Festival of Legends and Robotic Rodeo. Um, the very first line of our mission statement is, uh, you know, we seek to uh, pr- provide an escape from the real world while working to improve it at the same time. So I am, and I do, I do really want this message out there. I am fully cognizant of the fact that 1800s American history is not pretty. It is not good. Uh, there was a lot, of, it, yeah, yeah. There was a, really, honestly, a lot of atrocities. I mean, you know, I mean, the whole period is marked by absolutely abhorrent things. Um, I don't, I don't want to well on that, but I, I think I'd be doing a huge disservice if I just kind of pretended it didn't happen and, and disavowed it. So I am creating a fantasy world. You know, I am I am creating a very romanticized image of it, but, you know, we are very aware that that was a part of it. You know, we can't change the history, you know, so it's best that we do learn about it, but we're also doing this to have fun, and part of the reason I want to do some good with the charity auction and bringing in, you know, the Coalition Against Domestic Violence, you know, is to start, you know, helping move forward and start working you know, towards, towards a better time. Oh, very cool. Now, talk about the Festival of Legends, because most people, they would look at no. it on the outside as a, a Ren Fair, but it is, in <laughs> fact, not. It is, it is um, <clears throat> whereas Ren Fair is taking a, a fun trip through history, yep. Festival of Legends, correct me if I'm wrong, is taking a fun trip through fairy tales. That is, no, no correction needed. Yeah, yeah, we're a fairy tale, folklore, and mythology festival. And so that is the that is the focus. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we're not, we don't, we don't care about history. We do, we do love the stories, we love the tales. Um, but no, history is not in any way what we are focused on. I mean, so. feel free to come in your Renaissance festival oh, yeah. card. Oh, yeah. But we're that, not going to, you know, uh, care if you're historically accurate. But if you show up in, in a Starfleet uniform and like, oh, what's going on here? We've traveled into the past. You're the one who's going to get laughed at. Well, no, we, 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 we play along. No, go ahead. Go for it. Oh, yeah, we don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, it, it, well, I appreciate, like, you know, wanting to hold to a theme and stuff like that. I mean, my, my main goal is fun. You know, these, Absolutely. These, these Absolutely. should be enjoyable. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm creating a playground for other people to come in and enjoy themselves, you know. And, yes. and then look, if, if you want to come in, you know, Star Trek, you go right ahead. We're your holodeck. We'll be happy <laughs> to be your holodeck. And, you know, Doctor Who can fit in anywhere, yeah. you know. Very true. So we, no, I was just talking about the people who like control oh, sure. that way. No, no, no. You actually oh, love oh, it. Yeah. Oh, well, please come. And Jeff and I are both veterans working at various other yes. big Renaissance festivals. And honestly, the Star Trek people that came in and treated us like the holodeck, Yes. Well, see, I like that they treated it like the holiday because that's very different than some of the ones that I've seen where they're like, oh, this is the past. Uh, look at that person. They're using a cell phone. What's going on? Oh, well, yeah. And they're, they're just trying to troll people. Yeah. But the people that actually, they're still jumping into yeah. the live and stuff like that, that is super cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
if you want to play along, play along. We're here for it. Oh, yeah, no, totally. Yeah, awesome. like I said, it's like, you're great creating playground you know, for, for everyone else. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, now, so far, uh, how long have you been in the uh, the, the festival uh, creation? Because Festival of Legends has been going, and it is still going on, correct? Or oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Oh, yeah, this, right this April. Uh, the theme sure. is Tricksters. Ooh, very cool. So, so it kind of that, 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 that VIP package that I'm putting up for Robotic Rodeo would be pretty crappy then if I hasn't had a festival. Well, that's right. I'm right. sorry. <laughs> Honestly, I, you were talking about that, but I was I was just staring at the the, the promotional well, right. picture here. Well, I, I do too. Uh, I mean, I mean, the, the thing is, the the work that went into the sculpture of the bull is just mesmerizing. We can, we can, we can do fantastic. this too, so the yeah. people at home can see what he's looking at. Yeah. I mean, just look at the bull. I mean, you right. can actually. It's like you can feel the texture of yeah. the yeah the chick's hot, but still well, the, you right. can feel the texture of the fur. But all right. Yeah. Uh, so. <laughs> and by the way, for those of you, for those of you who uh, are, are not from Durham or have never visited Durham before, uh, so that is actually like one of the biggest uh, landmarks in Durham. Uh, that is known as Major. Major the Bull. Um, yes, so uh, very, very prominent bronze bull. Yeah, we had permission from the city of Durham yeah. to take pictures and climb all over it. There's, and... there's, some, there's some great ones of me riding it and, and like, <laughs> screaming yeehaw. I had a lot of cars looking at me and, and honking or something. But... I was wondering if, if like, you guys shot like a white snake video with her just kind of crawling over it or something. Oh, like that. oh, oh! oh. No, but we oh, had no. an image of me and two other women trying to pull. Like, like, be holding <laughs> on, and like they're like, <laughs> "No, I'm not. I don't want to go home yet." <laughs> which is keep playing a bull. Yeah, which is which is pretty much it. Uh, <laughs> no, yeah. But, uh, so yes, yeah, Festival of Legends is still happening. Uh, this is going to be the eighth year. You're eight. That's it. I, I thought it's been going on. It feels a lot longer. Well, for, <laughs> for you, as 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 the promoter yeah. and, and the guy who puts it all on, yep. yes. But as an attendee, I must have been like to the first or second one there. Maybe. Yeah, because I've been in the first here. few. Because it's, yeah. I mean, it's it's always awesome. been a blast. Oh, thank you. Um, I think the one of the issues for me is that it tends to fall on a weekend that I have a con or something else because. I can never, I, it's rare that I can actually make it, but I always try to direct people to it. Every time we have shows around that time, I always well, that's try to promote it and stuff. So. <laughs> it's because you're the rich time to go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's what I do. It's, it's, it's the PRS model. Um, okay, that does not exist. <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's always been a fantastic event, and um, I mean, look, and also the most important thing, aside from all of the uh, terrific fantasy characters that are walking around, uh, the amazing vendors that can have, like, you can show up with no costume, and then you show up, you can get a costume there and look completely in the park. The fantastic actors, the, the artisans that you have there, but you also have turkey legs. Like yes. real actual turkey, which let's face is the most important thing. Which, so, yeah, I mean, you know, can't really. And we are adding more. Uh, we're adding more food trucks this year. Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh yes, yes. We've definitely we've got a ton more food coming in, and I've actually got uh, an old favorite uh, who who is back on now that um, I haven't officially signed yet, so I don't want to talk too much about. But uh, the cupcake fairy who was last year. Uh, so hopefully um, I'll be uh, having them return. I, I, love, I love how we're distracted just by the menu. Um, uh, do I just we, pick a dinner just, because I've got... We just ate there. Oh. Yeah, no, they, they look like they've got great stuff. I had a little bit of nibbles from last night. We had the Mediterranean pizza. Oh, yeah? I, I cannot What's recommend it. it. It's a thin crust, which I wasn't aware of. Um, yeah, Mediterranean's up there. Oh. Yeah, it's a, it's a thin crust. I wasn't aware of it, but it's... Oh, prosciutto, oh, uh, caramelized uh, uh, onion, goat cheese, pesto. Wow, a, this is the Embassy Suites uh, in, in, by the airport, I think. Uh, we're not too far. Briar Creek. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're, I mean, we're close ish. To I just followed the Google. No, that's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, but I've, uh, basically, after my time here at the table, I have an hour to get ready for the 7 to 11 entertainment that I'm MC. So it is 7 to 11. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, oh, the, there's uh, everything from uh, comedians. Yep. Um, we've got matricula. So we've got uh, fun. Lighthearted music. We've got Valentine Wolf doing a big set, so it's going to be the nice, dark, ambiance, cool, oh, cool. music. Uh, uh, League of Extraordinary Belly Dancers, burlesque, oh, okay. and some sideshow going on. Oh, so, so it's going to be a full friggin' night. So uh, I mean, fortunately, yeah. somebody came by and was like, "Hey, pick something you, you off here." Something, so yeah. yes, well, so, we get so, food. so our plan is we're actually going to be leaving soon because we get dogs to walk and things like that. Probably put on some comfier clothes. And then we're gonna come back for that. Ah, see, I'm yeah. doing the exact opposite. I'm staying here, and putting on more uncomfortable more clothes, clothes, and then yeah, and then standing in front of people for four hours. All right, yep. <laughs> that's fair. Yeah, I'm used to it. <laughs> uh, but so, okay, so uh, you mentioned that it, it's been going on for so long. What would you say is is kind of what was your favorite event that happened at any of the festival? Uh, because like there, there's always like things that happen there. Whether it's like sketches, skits, like little things yeah. that, that kind of 
fit within the universe, but make it more real to people that are walking around? What is like one thing that you have that you, you wish you could have every year that's just kind of that that perfect uh, the, the little icing on the cake? Sure. Um, so, well, I do I do have it every year now, so it's maybe a bit of a cheat. That's all right. Um, but uh, we're promoting the festival, so it's okay. <laughs> so, okay, well, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll give you two answers. I'll give you I'll give you the, the the one like finite one and the one that's always there, and the one that's now always there. Uh, Dragon Riders. So Dragon Riders. The Dragon Riders. So what, what is that now? So, oh my goodness. Well, uh, yeah, actually, you, you because yeah, because yeah. I actually work with them. Um, yeah. As much as I love him, and uh, we've decided that it is good for our relationship that. I will help him out uh, and promote, but I do not work for him. Yeah, it's a smart idea. Uh, So I work for... Keep talking, keep talking, keep talking. Keep talking. We're just going to cut Rich out of this. He doesn't, okay. need, he doesn't need to be involved in this anymore. <laughs> Get a little more focused. You guys are kicking me off my own show that you're, I don't really have. That's a thing. You're leading really, really out of frame. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, I work for a booth called The Dragon Merchant, which is run by you can come on. Uh, there's, there's a lot. the uh, sculptor uh, Maggie Bennett. And she has mm-hmm. built, uh, if you've seen around Alduin, the big 20-foot dragon costume. Mm-hmm. Uh, she built uh, riding dragon costumes, and we run around with those. Oh, yeah. oh yes, yes, yes. The, the okay, giant, okay. Yeah, yeah I saw dragon. the pictures and, uh, and stuff. She's actually yeah, yeah, yeah. a wonderful sculptor. That's what she does yes. the whole time. She mm-hmm. sculpts horses for a living. Maggie Bennett Sculpture.com. Um, and uh, for funsies, basically, she does little uh, dragon sculptures as well. And uh, she has a, a booth selling the little uh, dragon sculptures. And um, uh, the payment for the, yeah, the booth, yeah, us having a booth space is payment for her coming in with her riding dragon costumes and running around and entertaining children. Oh, that is so cool. And most children love it, but occasionally you find a child who's yes. completely terrified of the dragon. I was going to say, and entertaining everyone, really. Yes. Because everybody loves the uh, the dragons. Yes. Mm-hmm. So well, who uh, wouldn't love dragons? Right. And what's, not, what's not to love? Uh, the, I'm going to do that for all of my commentary. They just added. Uh, yeah, I, I'm usually we, we the can, one that... No, no, uh, we're going to focus on the... I'm not we're usually focus on the, the one one. in the dragon costume. I'm usually the one at the booth uh, doing sales, mm-hmm. uh, talking it up. But yeah, Maggie is really the, the, the creative force behind that uh, with yes. her husband, Duncan. Um, who's a, who does like, theater tech uh, kind of stuff? They, they are disgustingly talented people. <laughs> <laughs> like, like it has moved past like like admiration and respect, and now you're just disgusted by how talented they are. It's like, and they're really, really. Nice. And they're really nice, which makes me hate them even more. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're they're amazing people. I'm so happy to have but them. Yeah, all so over. yeah, I work for Dragon Merchant every year. Um, yep. That way, I can help him out until the festival's ready to go, and then I turn him loose, and he has a bunch of, a wonderful team of directors yes. that help him Amazing. out. And then I do yes, not have pick to up, work for him. Yes, pick up one of these lovely flyers and for I'll, the robotic rodeo. I'm yes. upset because I know I've seen you host something somewhere, and I don't know what it was from, and I'm very upset. Could be trivia. Sorry, let me get in camera. Could be trivia. Could be burlesque. Burlesque. Most yeah, likely. That's what it is. It's got to be burlesque. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe Castle McCulloch. I have not done Castle McCulloch okay, no. yet. I want to, but I just oh. have the, the, the We've been invited, but I've always had something else, unfortunately, whenever they have their big stuff. But uh, I am going to be... What's that? The February, the uh, the one in February, the Mardi Gras one. Oh, yeah, yeah. The problem is I always have something else on Mardi Gras. But um, uh, I'm going to be doing the entertainment here uh, tonight. So from 7 to 11, wherever the hell it is, the big entertainment. So, uh, well, he creates that. And also the Festival of Legends. No, notice. <laughs> I'm on brand. Oh, okay. You're right. Yeah, so this is, yeah, this is, so this Do is, not change that look. Right. He's like a you better looking. He's like a better you're looking Bradley Cooper. Oh, I'll but take I'll take that. Decided. I'll 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 own that one. Okay. So yeah, so yeah, this is this is my event, and I also run an event called Festival of Legends in nice. April. So yeah, you got uh, you got to uh, see uh, these guys' oh, awesome okay. costumes. Yeah, Check yeah, these yeah. out. Yeah, look at those costumes. Those are rad. No, no, no. I don't know what the internet's like here. I'm just recording this. In fact. I don't know. I'm using the microphone on the webcam, and I've never done that before, so none of this may be usable. <laughs> all, just, all just silent images. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll like try to match our lip right? movements and just type what I think we're saying. So, yeah, this is the first time this event is happening. Um, this is our first rodeo. This is our, yeah. That is not our I know, yeah. Yeah, well, we keep making the joke. The, the theme of year two is going to be it's not our first rodeo. Yeah. I saw something. It was the guy's name, Brett. Something. Brett Yes. He's going to be there. 
Yeah. yeah he's, he's a friend of mine. He's, he's yeah, given he me a little bit. Yeah, he actually was part of the promotional. Yeah, What's I saw some of this. I'm sorry? What's your work with Or So. All right, well, I got to wrap it up because uh, yeah. there's going to be some more folks coming in. So, uh, I get uh, Robotic Rodeo. You can go to, uh, is it Festival of Legends? It's Festival of Legends.com. Festival of Legends. Legends. Com. It's got both events there. It's going to be at the Durham Convention Center February 1st through 3rd. We're also on Facebook. Also on the Facing Book? Yes, we are. Yep. You guys look fantastic. It's really cool. Yeah. Um, so definitely check it out uh, and uh, make sure you go this is the very first one it's not going to be the last one but it's going to be an awesome time and how many how many other opportunities do you get to go to a steampunk wild west uh, festival of things right. you don't no, until yeah. until February and then you do so guys thank you so much for popping on thank here thank you so much for having us of course, of course.